set aside time every Sunday morning to suggest news or trends in the world that seem to be predicted by a literal and futurist reading of the Bible. We're careful to use recognized, reliable sources for our news. There's a ton of sensationalism that surrounds unfulfilled Bible prophecy, and uh, it, it sort of makes it seem foolish sometimes, and we don't want to engage in that. Plenty of solid stuff we can talk about without making stuff up. <clears throat> We're not saying the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only that they're the things you'd expect in light of the Bible's unfulfilled verses. There's an intriguing passage in the Revelation about an idol and a guy we call the false prophet and the beast, which is uh, another name of the Antichrist. Apparently, an image of the beast is going to come to life. Revelation 13, 14, and 15 says, And the false prophet deceives those who dwell on the earth by signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image to be killed. It sounds a lot like what we would call artificial intelligence, or AI for short. Elon Musk is at the forefront of AI. We've reported on his brain interface company before, Neuralink, in previous updates. A recent article was titled, Elon Musk Trots Out Pigs in Demo of Neuralink Brain Implants. Here's excerpts from the article. Elon Musk's brain machine transfer uh, Neuralink showcased a pig outfitted with the company's device at an event live streamed on YouTube. The design of the Neuralink device has changed since it was unveiled last year, rendering the device itself hard to see on Gertrude. It is now coin-shaped and meant to sit flush with the skull rather than having a small module resting near the air. It's like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires, Musk said. The device can pair with a smartphone over Bluetooth. The most important thing the device might be able to do, Musk said, would be to allow people to achieve what he calls AI symbiosis, which allows the human brain to merge with an artificial intelligence, such that the future of the world is controlled by the combined will of the people of the earth. I think that is obviously going to be the future that we want, he said. Interesting that the passage in the Bible says those who dwell on the earth will make the image and Musk is talking about the controlled will of the people on the earth being best served by AI. Musk is on record calling AI's humani AI humanity's biggest existential threat and comparing it to summon, uh, summoning the demon. He and others, men like the late Stephen Hawking, intelligent men, are concerned that AI will quickly surpass humans and take over like they do in every sci-fi movie. And, uh, it, it's a, and so he wants to be able to interface with AI so that we can keep pace with them. Now, while we're on the subject of AI, let's recall an end times prophecy of Daniel. He was told to shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end and that knowledge would increase. In terms of knowledge increasing, listen to this regarding AI. A sudden and unexpected AI intelligence explosion might take an unprepared human race by surprise. To illustrate, if the first generation of a computer program able to broadly match the effectiveness of an AI researcher is able to rewrite its algorithms and double its speed or capabilities in six months, then the next generation program is expected to take three months to perform a similar chunk of work. In this scenario, the time for each generation continues to shrink and the system undergoes an unprecedentedly large number of generations of improvement in a short time interval, jumping from subhuman performance in many areas to superhuman. If you understand the reference, this would be like Ultron without the Avengers. It would just take over the Earth, or in a more sinister form, Terminator, uh, where all human life... Everybody's thinking, this guy's crazy, why am I visiting Calvary Hanford? <laughs> Elon Musk is a smart guy. Uh, Stephen Hawking was a smart guy. AI is here and it's coming like a freight train. And these guys are saying we're going to be left behind just like in the sci-fi movies. Now, we're not saying the image of the beast will involve AI. It just sounds like that. We're saying it wouldn't surprise us uh, knowing what we know today. And developments like this are what you'd expect from reading your Bible. 
Now, we believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent. That means it could happen at any moment. Nothing needs to happen before Jesus can come for his church. And it will definitely happen before the tribulation when this image is created. Jesus is coming in the clouds to raise the dead believers of the church age. And then he'll transform the bodies of living believers to glorified resurrection bodies. We'll join him in heaven while the earth endures one final seven-year campaign of severe evangelism. I was privileged to perform a memorial service, a graveside service, uh, earlier this week on a Thursday. And I taught a little bit about this, and I thought, Lord, do it now. This would be so awesome to be in a cemetery when the rapture happens. <laughs> Wouldn't it? I mean, I'm, I might start visiting cemeteries more, you know. Hey, uh, I notice you're here at a lot of these different heads. So, yeah, just, hey, you know, no problem. Uh, is there a problem? But, man, what a, what a, what a trip that's going to be when the dead in Christ literally rise from their graves and then we which are alive and remain are translated in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Are you ready for that, the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.